Hey, I want to put a quick uh, video out about my latest article in Forbes, and it's really about the rise of the mid-sized investor in the single-family rental space. It's something I've been talking a lot about recently, about how these mid-sized investors are really rising up, and there's a lot of reasons for that, and a lot of it has to do with efficiencies in the single-family rental space, the ability to go out there and buy in any market and actually be aggressive. And, you know, there's data that's been coming out about the housing market, how investors are still, you know, buying about a third of the of the properties out there, and and you can really break that down into smaller numbers and 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 dice up that data. But in general, the real estate investor is a huge part of the housing market, and without the real estate investor, there would be a lot of things happening that would be negative in our housing market because not everybody is out there buying a home to live in. Many people need houses to rent. And sometimes it's a better situation for somebody to go out there and rent a house and save more money, be, be more flexible than to buy a house, especially with the issues with savings and student loan debt and, and things like that. But really what's been happening is a mid-sized investor has been really rising up and and becoming more prevalent. And we're seeing that now. And mid-sized investor could be anybody from 25 homes to 2,000 homes. And uh, these investors are great for the market. They put out a quality product. They create efficiencies. Therefore, they can rent the houses at a competitive rate. And there's just a lot of good things with it. So enjoy the article and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.